A Eugene woman finds more than two centuries worth of memories in her childhood home, but they weren't her own. And discovered while doing a bit of cleaning and renovation, she now hopes to find the family they do belong to. KZI 9 News reporter Nat Wynn spoke with the homeowner and gives us a look inside that box and the lives preserved within. Photo albums, old postcards, years of memories packed away inside this box just recently saw light about a month ago. The homeowners here say that the old box was hidden away behind some coolers in the rafters up above in this garage, and they hope to be able to find the rightful owners soon. Lots of photo albums. This is, um, I believe, Agnes Fish's entire high school career. Monica Bowman just moved into this home a couple of months ago, but the old house isn't new to her. Well, we moved here when I was eight. She actually spent most of her childhood right here. So this box of keepsakes discovered by her husband was puzzling. He's like, well, it's got photo albums, and I just figured it was yours from your guys' family back when you guys lived here. And I was like, no, that's not my family. This is back in the day. And as she went through the memories, she couldn't help but see some interesting similarities. The family, like hers, came from Southern California, and the person woven throughout it all? A nurse, just like Bowman herself. I think Mary S. Fish maybe was a nurse back in 1918, and I have her documentation right here because she was with the National Guard. And family or not, it didn't feel right to just get rid of the various trinkets. Oh, they had clips on the tie. <laughs> Yellowed images. So these are her buddies. Or the lives. 1893, isn't that wild? You just don't want to have that on on your list of bad things. It just seems like bad juju. So she's hunting for the people this belongs to, hoping to reunite Mrs. Fish with her family in the near future. If you'd like to know more about what's inside this box or have any information on who all of this might belong to, you can contact Bowman through her Facebook page called Mary Scott Miller of Wyoming, 1893. In Eugene Nangwin, KZI 9 News.